Orchard is sold. It's gone. That's true, quite true. But don't cry, Mama. Life is still before you. We'll plant another orchard, even more luxuriant than this one. You'll see it. You'll understand. And like the sun at evening, joy, deep, tranquil joy will sink into your soul. And you'll smile, Mama. Come, darling. Let us go. Beautiful, Ray. That was very real. Tell us how these words Chekhov wrote for Anya connect to you. I have faith. I believe in life. All the struggles and disappointments have brought me to this place in life, and everything's coming together for me at last. Ray is six years old here, and she's already <laughs> singing and dancing up a storm. <laughs> this is the Sand Pitch Utah talent contest, and she sang Mr. Sandman. Remember, Ray? <laughs> when she got started, it was hard to stop her. <laughs> her daddy had to drag her off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make his complexion like peaches and cream. Give, Give him two lips like, like roses and clover. <laughs> then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. <laughs> <laughs> he was so cute. <laughs> Did your mom send this? Yeah, I think she got VCR happy. She had all the film, all the home movies transferred to tape, and then she did her own narration. What's she making, a memorial? She see the scrapbook. She knows she has every corsage, every program, every cocktail napkin I ever came in contact with. <laughs> I think she's even got my first bra glued in there somewhere. So, did you win? Of course I won. <laughs> Would be so peachy before we're too old. Please turn on your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. We got the permit. But now we have to get through the Environmental Development Agency, the Regional Planning Commission, the Road Department, and the Health Department, and the Fire Ward. <laughs> Boy, I have had red tape right up to here. Sometimes I think I will retire from the building industry and run for mayor. Are they still after you about that? Hmm. <laughs> Herbert called me again this morning. Said a group of businessmen want me on the ballot. Can you imagine that? Me, the mayor of Tarzana? <laughs> well, you'd make a good mayor. Oh, no. I'd never get a day off. You work too hard to win. You really do. Made some coffee, decaf au lait. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I have to get home. Well, I made dessert. Oh, please, don't do that to me. <laughs> I told Susan I was playing basketball, catching a bike with Bobby. I promised to be home early. That was a fabulous day. Don't be mad now, okay? Oh, I'm not mad, when I'm just disappointed. <laughs> don't give me a hard time now. You know, I love you. I love you too. Bye. Good night.
steam. Giving tulips like roses and clover. Then telling letters as nights are over. Sandman. I'm so wrong. Don't have nobody to call my own. Uh -huh. Well, I got to the house and I had this funny feeling. I went inside, I went straight to the bedroom. I was sure he was with somebody. Nobody. I looked all through the house. I was so relieved. Then I looked out at the pool. Billy, the love of my life, was on the cement with this sleazy blonde. Oh, Marga. I ran. I just took off. I was running down Doheny. I thought my heart would stop. I thought the world had come to an end. I didn't know who to call. And then I ended up calling Ramon. He told me to come right over. His house is better than Billy's, and he's got art. You moved your stuff? Well, I went back to the house. The blonde was gone. I went up to Billy. I gave him a big hug, and I said, I still love you, but I'm moving out. You know, I really thought that one would last. Ah! Darling. Uh, Anyway, everything's worked out beautifully. Ramon's in New York most of the time, so I'm free. Billy honored his contract. I got a nice big hunk of money. And we're still friends. You're not going to eat that butter, are you? Oh, I forgot. Um, I must not overeat. I need my body to be thin. Oh, you go ahead, laugh, but it works. There are all of these young, skinny women here just waiting for you to put on weight to get your man. I'm not worried. You should be. To tell you the truth, I think I'd knock you down and walk over your body for one night with wind. <laughs> Are you going to make him sign a contract? I didn't get this way without a reason, you know. I know. I've learned to protect myself. I loved Billy. I love Ramon. I love men. I adore them. But you've got to get it in writing. Things change after you get dumped. Mm -hmm. Well, when and I have been together nine years, I don't think I'm going to get dumped. We all do. One way or another, we all get dumped. I give myself maybe, uh, I can keep a man three years tops. Well, it's a lot of work. It takes so much energy to be perky all the time. Hello? Ray, this is Stephanie. I'm calling for Hi. Internet. I'm here with Paolo, you know my producer? And we've been talking, and guess what? We've got a part for you. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. No, it's just a little part on next week's segment. It isn't big, but it could be a stand -in. I'll let you talk to Paolo. All right, Lee. This is Paolo, yeah. So? You're great. God, I don't even have an agent. I haven't had an acting job in years. You don't need an agent. I'll send you the script in an hour. Here? To your house, yes. Okay? Bye. Bye-bye. You'll be great, Ray. Only don't be too great. Elena! Oh, Elena! I got a job! I got a job! I got a job! Oh, I'm so happy! Wait till I don't win! Oh, I got a job! <laughs> You're early. Yeah, I was playing with Buzz Makoff. He barely got through two sets. He started breathing heavily. We had to quit. <sighs> oh, I'm all wet. Who cares? Guess what, baby? What? I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a job? With Stephanie on her show. It starts on Monday. And they sent the script over, and I've got it almost all memorized. Monday? Yeah. It's a cute part. I play an old childhood friend of Stephanie's, and I'm from Texas. <laughs> Would they pay you a lot of money, or what? Well, I didn't even ask. It's probably minimum wage or something. By the time you pay your taxes, you'll have hardly anything left. <sighs> Can I give you enough money, Ray? Of course you do, Wayne. You're the most generous person I've ever known. <sighs> and all the lessons I pay for you, the acting, the dancing, the singing. Don't they keep you busy enough? Well, that's what they're for. 
I mean, I'd like to work. I'd like to be productive. I always take care of you, Ray. You know that. But I'm an actress. Well, I mean, I always wanted to be an actress, and this is an opportunity. When? When? Come on, what's wrong? What's the matter? Did you get more tequila? Oh, God, I think I forgot. I was so distracted today. Um, some vodka. Oh, actually, I think I'd better be going. I'll call you later. Bye. When? Are you upset about the part? Oh, no, no, that's okay. If that's what you really want, it's fine. It's just that I have to fly to NASA on Monday to check out that hospital site, and I wanted you to join me there. We'll have a week together, a little vacation. I wanted to surprise you with that. Oh, Wynn, I'm sorry I spoiled it. Well, look, it's a small part. I could be there on Thursday. It only works three days. What am I going to do without you for three days? The surprise was for you. I wanted to make you happy. Well, it does. It really does. It's just... I'd like to do the part. So you're going to do this part, and then you'll do another part and another part, and pretty soon I'm going to lose you. Come on, you're never going to lose me. <laughs> I need you. I want you with me. Sure, you have anything of our desires. He's still with the family. He'll be in from Aspen late tonight. Is it okay? Oh, it's beautiful. You like the view? It's perfect, Bobby. Passes inspection. So, do you want me to arrange for a massage? You might feel good after your flight. Mm. Well, here's the menu. Or, if you'd rather go out for dinner tonight, I'm at your service. <laughs> I think I'll order at room service, watch TV. Then I'm just going to get some sleep. Okay, well, I'll be across the hall if you need me. Okay, thank you. Oh, I had a great time, <laughs> but I'm beat. <laughs> they ran the old man ragged. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, I got some snapshots here. Some really great ones of Rachel and the boys. Let me see. <laughs> we climbed a mountain. Oh. It's just getting more and more beautiful. Mm -hmm. it seems like yesterday she started school. Hmm? Mm hmm? And James is getting so tall. Taller than his dad. Hey, he might be taller than me, but I'd beat them all to the top. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. You weren't supposed to see that one. You know, when I can't pretend that it doesn't hurt to see pictures of your life. And of Susan. But it's even worse when you don't show me. Then I really feel left out. You know, I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to hurt Susan, but... It's hard for me. I want to be with you. I mean, really with you. 
not hidden. When Rachel goes away to college, that's in only two more years. We'll get married. Maybe we'll have a baby. <laughs> Give me a break, will you? I'm an old man. Oh, <laughs> a bunch of babies. <laughs> hmm? Paramedics, hurry! Ray, you gotta get out of here. No, 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 he pushes himself too hard. Ray, come I'm on, you can't telling. be here. Come oh, on. He's telling him. Oh, sweetie, you, come on. He just overdid it. He showed Ray, me the pictures. He made mouth. Listen to me. Come on. You, faster than listen, they were. you have to. You come can't on. be here. You understand? His wife, his kid, you can't be here when they get here. Come on. Just for today, I'll send the rest later. Come on, we have to go. Come on, that's what it is. No way. She's getting older. I just no. Come on, you gotta get out of here. Where is the one? 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 Where is the friends, family. How are the children? It's been difficult. Um, the boys are older. They've been tremendous with their mother. But Rachel is having a hard time. How is Susan? She's destroyed. You know, this is going to sound kind of weird, but somehow Wynn's family is my family. All the stories he told me, all the pictures he showed me over the years. I mean, I remember when James wrecked the family car, when Richard fell in love with a girl named Cheryl, and <laughs> Rachel got her braces. Somehow they're a part of me. This is it.
couldn't even send flowers. I was afraid Susan would wonder who they were from. Do you want to be alone here for a minute? Sorry, but we really do have to talk about it now. Damn it, Ray. Didn't you and Wynn ever discuss anything? I tried to pin him down a couple of times, but... I mean, in nine years, didn't you ever ask him what security you had in your future? I never had to. You, you know Wynn said he'd always take care of me. Wonderful. Ray, there is nothing in your name. You mean the car? No, I mean nothing. The car, the house. My home? Didn't you ever confront him at all? Well, what was I supposed to say? When, when you're dead, how much money will I get? I'm sorry. This is just so frustrating. I know that he meant to provide for you. I know that he loved you. I just don't think he ever thought he was gonna die. There's no way to get anything for you now. There are auditors. It's all right, I've got some money. I can give you a couple of thousand from my personal account. No, thank you. that he would not want Susan to know about you. You understand? Don't worry, Bob. I'm not going to cause any trouble. You'll be fine. A beautiful, talented woman like you, you won't have any trouble. You'll get your career going again. The actress will find work. Look, you know, if you ever need any help, you can come to me. I mean that. scenes and I had to do some explaining about making movies and how nothing's real. <laughs> Where did you get this? My mother. Steven Spielberg has competition. <laughs> I remember the actor from class, Greg Baker. 
Mm -mm. Was he cute? Whatever happened to him? I don't know. I think this film was our finale. I was going to be the witness at your wedding. You remember? Oh, chickened out. We drove all the way to Tijuana. We almost made it. God, he was crazy about you. Oh, he wanted to get married. He wanted to have five kids, all boys. But I couldn't go through with it. I met Wynn. And after I met Wynn, nothing else really mattered. Bray, how much money do you have? I really don't know. About 2,000. Well, my friend Ronnie, you know, the real estate Ronnie, I always knew he'd come in handy. He has a house listed right now. You can stay there until it's sold. I've arranged it. And you can use an old car, Ramon's. No one drives it. Works okay. Hmm? Thanks, Marco. I, uh, couldn't do that. You have no choice. Now, will you let me help you? Come on, let's get realistic here. What are your options? You know, you could get a few thousand for your earrings. I'm not going to sell my earrings. They were a special gift from Wynn. Oh, Margo, I don't think you understand. I wasn't in it for the jewelry or the money. I was in it because I loved him. I don't think you have any idea what I'm feeling. I love him. I miss him. I'm sorry. It's just, damn it, he didn't look out for you. He was going to marry me. We were just waiting till Rachel got out of high school. Well, you wasted a hell of a lot of time waiting. We're in a time limit here, you know, all of us. We've got to make the most of it. This town will eat you up if you don't look after yourself, Ray. Believe me. Pictures taken. Well, that one's recent. So, how old are you? Thirty. Seven. And uh, credits. I did a few commercials. It was a while ago. Actually, uh, about five years ago. Well, you tell me. What are you going to play? You're too old for romantic leads. You're too young for character parts. you a question. What the hell have you been doing for five years? I'd love to do Stephanie a favor, but I've got so many clients, so many people out of work. Sorry, I'm showing the house. I'll be out in a minute. Couldn't sleep last night. I'm a little late this morning. Rough night, huh? What I need to find is some work. Are you going to go down to the department store and start selling dresses? What? No. Soaps. 
it apart in the daytime soaps. Oh, Ray, be realistic. We all came out here full of dreams and, and bright-eyed, but... And Stephanie made it. Yeah, but we didn't. I don't know why. God knows we're just as pretty and just as talented, but if we didn't make it when we were young, just how the hell do you expect to make it now? So what do we do? And what are we supposed to do when there's no more money? No man? Come bag ladies? I know lots of men. Men that would provide the lifestyle like you're used to. Oh, come on, Margo. I want an arm piece. That's all those guys want is a pretty girl on their arm. You're nuts. They love you. They treat you great. Most women in this town would give anything for my rejects. <laughs> I'm not a desperado, and I'm not going into the mistress business. Just what business do you think you've been in for the past nine years, huh? That was different. No, it wasn't. It was the same. You just didn't use it. You didn't make it work for you. You know, I don't think you understand. I was with Wynn for nine years. I haven't been with anybody else. I'm scared. I know. But you just have to learn to take control of things. Oh, like you do? Okay, showtime. Hey, I don't fake any of that. I love men. Oh, you were in love with all of them? When I love, I do it without counting. I've learned from men. I've grown just like you did with Wynn. So now I go on to the next one? Margo, I don't know how it is for you when you love somebody. I only know how it is for me. I'm not even a person anymore. I get up in the morning and I brush my teeth and I take a shower and I get dressed. And then what? I don't know what to do. Maybe you should go away for a while, hmm? Take a little trip. I'll go home with my mother. Yeah. Only don't stay too long. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you have to move. Your temporary shelter's been sold. Ronnie called this afternoon. I'm really sorry, Ray. You have two weeks. Boy. Mama, I can't believe you put up a banner. Surprise! Surprise! Oh, Mama, I could kill you. They all wanted to see you, so don't disappoint them. Here she is! All right? Oh, We've been watching for you in the movies, but we never see you. Well, we seen you the other night on TV. Uh, what was that show? Oh, I just saw the last of it, but I yelled to Ellie and I said, that was Ray. Well, I don't think it was. Oh, it was you, all right. I know you when I see you. <laughs> now, if you ever do another television show, you let us know. <laughs> Remember, her dad had such a case on her. You were your daddy's girl. He used to just beam when you sang in the church. <laughs> I can see you now. Hair down to your knees. Oh, he was like a picture. Your daddy had plans. Very big plans for you. Oh, Mom, come on, let me do that. No, no. <laughs> no, you never let me do anything. Never even let me wash the dishes the whole time I was growing up. I didn't know how to dust, vacuum, or even clean a bathroom when I left home. Well, you knew how to sing and act and how to dance on your toes. That's a lot more important than cleaning the bathroom. You're awful thin, Ray. Beginning to look like one of the Delroy sisters. Skinny girls. <laughs> Remember them? They're just like sticks. Oh, I wanted you to bring something pretty to wear to the church banquet tomorrow night. Mama, let me just be here. No fanfare. Did you break up with that man? Yeah. Oh, I warned you. They say they want to marry you, but they can sure change their minds quick, can't they? Mama, I just need some time. Some quiet time with you. Well, that'll do for the banquet. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Right. <clears throat> Maybe if you pull your hair back like you used to wear it. Now, show your face. <laughs> and, Ray, wear a little makeup, honey. You'd look so much prettier. That was you. You remember me? Burke Johnson. Neil Johnson's brother? I gave you a ride home from Panguitch once after you won Miss Rambolet Days, remember? I'm sorry. I don't even remember Miss Rambolet Days. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> I had the biggest crush on you that ever was, along with every other guy in this town. Oh, come on. This is the truth. Go ahead, ask me. What did you wear to the junior prom when you were prom queen? You wore a light silvery dress that went over one shoulder, and you had a white carnation thingamabob that was fastened right here. Am I right? As a matter of fact, yes. You were like a vision. Do you still live around here? Yeah, my folks died a few years back, and I took over the ranch. You visiting your mom? Town must seem kind of pitiful. No, it's home. Nothing to do here. I'm having a big time. I'm going to the church banquet tonight. <laughs> you better finish my run. It was nice seeing you. Hey, how about skipping that banquet? I don't think my mama would like that. I can tell you what they're going to serve. Country food. Overdone turkey, jello salad, and instant mashed potatoes. We could go over to the tip top and get a steak. Do they still have those great T-bones? Best T-bones in the whole damn country. Best T-bones in the whole damn world. <laughs> Got a date. <laughs> My hell, I don't believe it. I didn't think it ever happened. I got a date with Leah Ray Colton. I was in Los Angeles once in my life, and I was miserable. Like a fish out of water. I hated that place. Well, it takes some getting used to. I'd never get used to it. I couldn't find my own name without my wallet. I don't like cities. Except for Las Vegas. You like Las Vegas? Hell, I love Las Vegas. All that action, I come to life in Las Vegas. All those lights. Pretty girls. <laughs> Don't hurt to look. You know what ticks me off? It's here I am dancing cheek to cheek with Leah Ray Cole, and nobody from high school is here to see it. <laughs> There's nobody around anymore. The only thing uh, that's growing in Utah is the church. Make me a promise. I promise that someday you'll meet me in Las Vegas. And we'll have ourselves a time. <laughs> Burke, put me down. Burke, put me down. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> to touch you for fear you might break. 
very sweet, Burke. You really are. Was some guy mean to you? If it was, you just tell me. I'll go twist his head off. Nobody was mean to me. in Vietnam, I thought about you. I'm not kidding. I carried a picture of you around in my head since I was in high school. Do you know that? I can call it up anytime I want to. Your hair was all curly. It was frizzy. You got on this bright red sweater, kind of a Indian skirt, little moccasins. How can you remember that? It's etched. And your face is all shining. Just like it is now. Leah Ray, could I kiss you? Remember Miss Rambolay? <laughs> you remember Miss Sweet Sixteen? Oh, I won twenty-five dollars in four yards of fabric. <laughs> uh, Miss Iron County, Miss Rodeo, Miss Dairy Princess, Miss Chamber of Commerce. Oh uh, well, miscellaneous, mistake, misfit. No, no, none of those. You're the one person in this old town that made it big. In the movies, everything. Better get home, Bert. I'd like to honk and wake everybody up. <laughs> hey, look who I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a mirage? It's really her. Straight from Hollywood. Making a guest appearance. <laughs> Listen, Burke, about that Hollywood stuff, uh, the only movie I was ever in was eight years ago and was only on screen for two seconds. I did some commercials and I worked as a stand-in, but that's it. That's not what I heard. What you heard was from my mama. I'm serious. I can't get a job. Don't tell me that. I can't get a job. I'm broke. I'm alone. How does that hit you? That's impossible. Men must be lining up. Well, they're men. They've been men all my life, but only one that I love besides my daddy. But you... you didn't marry him? He was already married. But we were together a long time. Sort of like uh, his mistress. Yeah, I guess that's what you call it. And the other. Yeah. Well, Burke, you didn't think I was a virgin, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't think that. But you did think I was a movie star. Couldn't sleep. Sorry, I'm so late. <laughs> Guess it's early. Go 
Not to talking. Talk? About what? I never heard Burke Johnson say a complete sentence, even. I can't imagine you going out with Burke Johnson. He don't have a dime. Does, too. He has a ranch out by 12 Mile. Ranch? He runs a few cattle and a few turkeys. Lost most of his land. I think he's almost bankrupt. That doesn't matter to me. He was sweet. Your daddy and me didn't spend all those years working so you could end up with no Burke Johnson. All the dancing and the dramatic lessons and the contests. We didn't do that so you could just throw it away. I'm not going to marry him, Mom. You're always getting involved with him, man. Look, I just like him. I mean... No, I just liked him, okay? So don't get carried away, all right? Now's the time for you to straighten up. Now's the time for you to go back down there to, to Hollywood and, and make a career for yourself. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to have much of a career. Honey, you are too pretty for Burke Johnson. You're too good for this town. I don't want you to end up like... Like I did. Oh, Mama, come on. The most important thing that ever happened to me was when I won the typing contest in high school. Look at you. You won everything. The prettiest, the best. You belong in Hollywood. It's always been my dream. And your daddy's too. Mama, for once, would you hear me? For once, would you listen to how I feel? Nobody in Hollywood is interested in me as an actress. Nobody wants to hear me sing. And I sure as hell don't think I have much of a future as a toe dancer. I'm getting too old for Hollywood. Yeah. I can't afford to be too choosy anymore. Well, I'm glad your daddy's dead. Because this would just kill him. never use it. We've always wanted to convert it to an office, but we just never gotten around to it. It's a... Uh, it's kind of neglected. Oh, I think it's perfect. I just need it for a few weeks. Once I get a job, I'll be out of your hair. And Stephanie, I want to pay you. Don't be ridiculous. It's just sitting over here empty. You want to come over later and join us for dinner? Oh, I'd love to, but Marco insisted we have dinner tonight. Oh, well, that's Marco. I thought you said a quiet dinner. This way, this way. Well, look who's here. Marco! Hi, Ricky. Wait a minute, I want to talk to you. God, I love it when I look terrific and I bump into guys who've done me dirt. The love of your life. Took me two years to get over that one. Oh, wait a minute. Showtime. Oh, Marco, come on, you said just the two of us. We'll just drop by and say hello, okay? These two guys are wealthy. I mean, heavy wealthy. Just be nice. Tell them how good they look. Frank, Rooney, how nice to see you. Mm. Sit, sit. This is Ray. You're always asking me if I have any beautiful friends. Well, here is my beautiful friend. Well. Very pretty. What do you mean, very pretty? She's beautiful. Very pretty. A relief, I passed inspection. <laughs> well, where's the champagne? We need champagne here and, and food. I'm starving. Anything you want. Oh, I must not overeat. I need my body to be thin, but you know how I love caviar. My dad always warned me about two things. Never order more than you can eat. And beware of gold diggers. <laughs> Are you a gold digger? 
I'm gonna need a double tequila, and I'll pay for it myself, thanks. Never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. Never seen you shine so bright. Never seen so many men ask you if you wanted to dance Looking for a little romance Giving half a chance and I have never seen that dress you wear Marco, are we gonna go together? We'll meet up at Omegami's. Could you wait? Over here, honey. You can touch me. What? Go ahead. Touch me. I don't want to do all the work. Stop this car! Wait a minute, get back in here! Let me! You know who you're talking to? I don't care who you are! Stop this car! Stop the car, Giuseppe. You're a teaser. One free meal and you're on your way. Next, please. Next. Thank you, I'll take that. Pick up your sides right over there. And moving over to the mark near the microphone, please. Yeah, thanks. Okay, state your name. And then when I say action, you go on with the dialogue, okay? State your name. Ray Colton. And action. Oh, good, good boy. You're gonna grow up to be so strong and healthy. Just gotta keep eating your dog's best friend. Makes your fur shine and your eyes sparkle. Mama be so proud of her baby dog. Thank you. Next, please. Crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling so blue. expect him back. No, uh, I was hoping I could read for him. I saw where he's casting a new movie. We met socially a few years ago and I thought he might remember me. I... Cast? Well, it says here that it's not all cast. All right, thank you. The answer is no, Margo. This was Ray's dance recital. <laughs> I'm never going out with you again. She was Aphrodite. Goddess of love and beauty. It was impressive, let me tell you. I had this screaming fight with Ramon over the phone today. Margo. Yeah, well, the funny thing is I ran over to my therapist for an emergency session. She's having a screaming fight with her daughter. Come on. Just come over. I promise I won't leave your side, okay? I'll get there as soon as I can. Mr. Potterton. I believe he trained up Salt Lake City, of course. Ray was by far the best dancer. <laughs> um, my friend and I, we are watching you. Perhaps you would not mind the company. I am Hans, this is Werner, and you are an actress. <laughs> I'm an AMW. What exactly is an AMW? Actress, model, whatever. I knew you were an actress. Very nice. I come to Los Angeles, I want to see what happens. I walk in this place. The music, the people, it's much. I see you, and 
boom, boom, boom. My heart pounds. My friend and I um, live quiet lives in Frankfurt. Uh, our dealers are not accustomed to this. More drinks, please. How do you say that? <laughs> Another round. Another round. We should go to someplace quiet. Away from all this noise. No, 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 no. This is Los Angeles. I want to see it. <laughs> he just doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> You're going. Werner. There is something for you on the bureau. One hundred dollars. You've made a mistake. Did you think I was a whore? The whole time last night we were laughing and having fun? Is that what you thought? You thought I was a whore? Good morning, Mike. Listen, could you hold on just a minute? I'll be right back. Sure, Miss Bloom. I don't know. I can't seem to sleep at night, so I end up sleeping all day. It's been five months since Wynn died. You've got to pull your life together. You really do. I know. You're in here day after day. You never get any sun. How are you going to get your life going from your bed? I don't know. Ray, 
This only makes you feel more isolated, more alone. Stephanie, you know something? Whenever I close my eyes, I see my daddy. We're so close. Look, we all have things about our dad. I hated mine because he left us when I was four years old. I always thought that my daddy loved me more than he loved my mama. It made me feel like I had something special. That he chose me. And Wynne chose me, too, over his wife. That wonderful woman. When my daddy was dying, I rushed back to Utah. He was in intensive care. Oh, he looked as frail as a leaf. I reached out. I touched his hand. And he opened his eyes. And he looked right at me. And the only thing he said was, Go get your mama. Go get your mama. That was the last thing he ever said. She won. I never had him. I never had win. I never had anybody. Oh, Stephanie, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm always going to be alone. You're not. I spent my whole life looking after my body and living on my looks, and now it's all rotting away. Will you stop? It's the truth! What's going to happen when I get old? Who's going to want me? Ray, you're going to find a good man. A really good man. And you're going to have a life with him. I really believe that. But you don't find the kind of man I'm talking about in disco clubs. Look, you probably know somebody right now. Somebody who's decent and kind and unmarried. Somebody you never thought about before who'll probably give you love and companionship. I'm sorry, I gotta go the driver's way and I'll be late for the set. I've been working. I got a couple of commercials. That's so? Yeah, and this TV movie I'm up for looks really good, too. Well, that's great. Good. I feel like celebrating. How about meeting me in Las Vegas tomorrow night? 8 p.m. Desert Air? Can you make it? Well, I, uh... Hell, I got a lot of turkeys to ship. <laughs> I'd have to drive there after that. I've been thinking about you, Burke. I've been thinking about you a lot. Me too. I've been thinking about you and everything. Let's just have a terrific time. Well, sure. Can you meet me? Tomorrow night, 8. It means a lot to me, Burke. Don't rush into anything. You don't have to marry this guy. Well, you said it. We're all on a time clock, and I'm not wasting any more time. Burke loves me. He's loved me since we were kids. His sister even named her baby after me. He told me. And you love him? He's kind. He's gentle. He's a good man, Margot. 
He's not handsome or hip or glamorous, but he's decent and good. He's real. I've got a chance to start over. I could even have a baby. Who knows what could happen? Well, do me a favor. Don't get married without me. <laughs> okay. You sure you want to do this? You said it. I have to stop living in the past. Anyway, I don't have any other way to pay for my ticket. I'll be here. Phone call for Ray Cole? Uh, no, ma'am. So maybe you page me and I didn't hear you. No? Five o'clock, you know. I'll tell you what, once you get your ticket, I'll take care of your bags. Thanks. Okay. I haven't seen you all summer. How many? Will you be two? No. By the palm? Um, actually, if you could wait. How about by the window? It's much better. Johnny, I'm not here for lunch. I was wondering if it would be Tell possible. Oh, uh, well, would you seat Miss Colton by the window, please, and give her anything she wants? Miss Colton, she's one of our very special customers. Johnny, Johnny, I need a job. Everybody loves detectives. So I was thinking, how about a detective story as a musical? You know, a kind of uh, American opera for TV. Mm, kind of like a singing private eye? Exactly, like a singing private eye. Nobody does it. I think this is a great idea and I want to talk to you about it. Vodka? Yes.
was good. Very nice. I'm sorry. You know, I must be a little drunk or something. I don't know what possessed me. I just, I just kept thinking, what if Powell would hire me as the singing detective sidekick? Yeah, uh, look, what well, was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. Only that now I have to go back, you know. It's a very long grind. Oh, Pablo. Listen, Paolo, I just got to get a job. I have to move out of here. I got to get a job. OK, look. I, I give you some money for your first month's rent, OK? I don't want the money. I need a job. I could work as your secretary. I know I could. Fine. Why don't you call me tomorrow at the office? I could work as your secretary. I, I could answer phones. I could learn how to type. My mom was a champion typist. Maybe it runs in our genes. <laughs> okay, call me tomorrow. Ciao. Ray? Hold my calls for a minute, will you? Have a seat. What do you want, Ray? I need a job. After all this time, you still don't have a job? <laughs> well, I've certainly tried. I just hoped you could call somebody for me. How much do you need? Why do men always want to give me money? I'm here to ask you to help me find a job. Well, I don't have anything for you. You said if I needed help to come to you, well, here I am. OK, take it easy. You said you'd be here for me. Look, Susan has taken over the company. Help me find a job. I'm 38 years old. What kind of a resume do I have? People ask me what I've been doing the last 10 years. Will you tell me? What was I doing? Her office is right there. Help me! Fine. I'll call Brick Benjamin. He has a department store. He's a friend of Wynn's. You and Wynn had dinner with him one night. I'm sure he'll have something for you. Just go over there in the morning. Next time, uh, I think it would be better if you just called. I want those mailed to New Hampshire. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm new here, and I... Well, I could check. But... Miss Noring, what do I do about mailing? Oh, wait. Find out the zone. Only get the phone first. Oh, OK. Excuse me. Hello? I'm Beverly Drive. Hello? Oh, ah, uh, housewares. Yes, hello? Excuse me, um, how much is this? Nothing's marked here. Um, could you hold on just a second? Sorry. That's the um, Ellesmere pattern, but it's not marked, so I guess I'll have to check. Would you excuse me just for a minute? Oh! Oh, no! I'm sorry, that's my fault. Oh! Ray! <laughs> Craig Baker? Oh, I've been wondering and wondering what happened to you. <laughs> I was just looking at old tapes of us in Picnic. Oh, I gave up acting. Well, acting gave me up. I lost interest after my divorce. I never got married. God, you look beautiful, Ray. Really, you look just the same. <laughs> Better. <laughs> I'm not kidding. We almost got married. Yeah, you know, I think about that a lot. What might have been. <laughs> you make me feel like a schoolboy. Craig. There she is. There's my girl. We just got married about a year ago. Kathy, come over here. I'm getting nowhere. Yeah, we're trying to find a sales clerk. Have you seen any around? Oh, I am. Oh, you work here. Trying to. Did you find the price on that platter yet? I mean, we've really got to get out of here. Uh, sweetheart, this is Ray, an old friend. Oh, this is Kathy. I thought my life was over after my divorce, and look what happens. Kathy comes <laughs> along and saves me. <laughs> well, if you don't get it right the first time, try, try again. Well, you're very lucky. You get to start all over again. I've been waiting for 30 minutes to get some goblets mailed, and she just runs off and leaves me standing. Miss Colton. Is there a problem? There's been a small accident. And that was my fault. It really was. I'll be with you all in just a moment. 
Dear, this just isn't going to work out. contest out of the whole county. It was some big deal. Her daddy and I sat in that audience and clapped our hands off. Star quality. She just had it and everybody knew it. We were all counting on her to put the little old town of Sandpitch on the map. She was going places because there was no two ways about it. She was the prettiest and she was the best. Shut up! She it all so Shut up! It's not true! I'm nothing! Nothing do you hear me? It's over! It's over! It's dead! It was never true! It was never true! I'm nothing! I'm nothing! 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 It's over! for me. Ray, this isn't the answer to anything. It's called survival. Ray, I... I just don't want to see men use you. Nobody is going to use me because I'm going to set it up. A few hours a week, and in exchange, I don't have to worry anymore. It's like playing a little part. What is it Margot says? Act perky? You're drinking too much. I like the feeling. Numb. Anyway, I don't even have to talk. All I have to do is listen. That's all men want anyway, is somebody to listen. I'll learn something. I was educated by the men in my life. First my daddy, and then when. I mean, ask me anything about sports, construction. Come on, ask me something about hunting or cars. I've listened for hours, and I can go on listening. Nothing will go to waste. Ray, this isn't you. You are a sweet, tender, loving human being. You just... know what happens to weak little creatures on the great sidewalk of life? Some man comes along and steps on them. Well, not me. Not anymore. It's showtime. 
I'm meeting someone, at Mr. Washburn. Oh, yes, Mr. Washburn. He's waiting right down here for you. He's a very nice gentleman. Miss Colton, may I say you're looking very well these days. Thank you, Johnny. Hello, Ben. You look exactly as I thought you would. Is that good or bad? That's very good. Here. Let me. You're very mysterious, Mr. Washburn. <laughs> mysterious? I can't decide if you're a gambler or a gunrunner. Me? I'm a gunmento. <laughs> you can't be. I made a fortune manufacturing overcoats. Oh, you're a designer. That's wonderful. Yeah, well, I don't actually do much designing. You must be creative. You'd have to be. Yeah, I guess I am. The business is sure grown. Now we do everything. Casual clothes, men's, women's. We even do bathing suits. You need a couple of dozen bikinis? I'm a little frightened. Of me? You never know. You might be into something dangerous. I'm not into s and I like simple things. I like to be massaged. A menage à toi. Could be interesting sometime. <laughs> Maybe we should skip dinner. All right. I've been married twenty years. I wouldn't want to hurt the wife, but let's face it, the sex is over. Two daughters. You know what I hate? I come home at night, nobody even notices. They hardly even say hello. <laughs> Do you want to play pool? Pool? It's our pool table outside. All oh, right, so, uh, you want to shoot a little pool? I'll tell you what. I'll give you three shots for every one of mine. <laughs> well, that's very generous. <laughs> you think so, huh? You really think you can beat me? You win, you get a fur coat. Okay, here we go, the blue ball. You're a damn pool hustler. Oh, I used to play with my dad at the Sandpitch Pool Hall. Don't hold the stick too tight. Okay. <laughs> I'll worry about that. Okay. Ah, uh, the orange ball. <laughs> a black mink. Mink? You didn't think I was playing for rabbit, did you? <laughs> oh, eight ball. Okay. All right. The eight ball. Oh, God, here it comes. Wow! <laughs> did you see that? I won. I won. I saw it. <laughs> Don't take off your clothes. Now I'd like to see your tattoo.
you. You're Geisha. Mm. That was very nice. Time to go. See, what did I tell you? Getting a big gut. You have a great body. It's good. All of it. Oh, yeah? Not so bad, huh? That worked out just fine. I'm glad you liked it. I'll have the movers come out for your things on Wednesday. That's okay. I can do it. I want to see you Tuesdays, Thursdays, and some weekends. I'll be in Hawaii with the family for Thanksgiving. But when I travel, I usually want you to travel with me. That sounds agreeable. My office will get you some credit cards. They'll also give you whatever cash you need. About 2,000 a month should do it. I'll need a car. That can be arranged. And I want the owner's certificate. And security if we stay together more than a year. You're a businesswoman. Yes. And you're a businessman. Is that it? I want everything in writing. A contract. I'll set up a meeting with my lawyer. one of those girls. Oh. oh, take back your mink. Like Kelly, well, I earned it. That's gorgeous. Oh. Guy's got class. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> In that coat? <laughs> what do you think? Maybe I'd look younger if I lighten my hair. Ray, you look terrific. Got to get it while we can. Before we get dumped, huh? Desperation Derby. Don't really need it for a coat in Los Angeles. You'll travel. Margo, what happened to us? Sold our souls, I guess. I always thought that I'd end up married with a normal life and a family. Well, we just ran out of time, that's all. One winter when I was driving alone with my daddy, we saw a deer. We'd gotten caught in barbed wire trying to jump a fence. That was dead. Frozen. You know what my daddy said? Hmm. He said deer have this ability when they're hopelessly trapped to just kind of die. The hearts just explode. Humans can't do that, I guess. Dying isn't that easy. You know what I wish? I 
I wish I was a deer. <laughs>